Ah, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. All right. All right, roll them, Marianne. We're going to start right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm Eric Sableman. Okay. I'm, are you are you recording now? I hope so. We'll okay. check it in a minute. Okay. Now the lights blinking. Okay. Right. Well, we're. I'm Eric Sableman, and we're talking about the. Uh, I'm going to give you this in hard copy. You don't need to put it in the okay. video. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So. Uh, this is just to introduce the the water project mm -hmm. uh, for if pig, pigs could fly, helping hillside Haiti. And our intent with the project is to give uh, a means for carrying water uphill uh, to avoid the time and effort that that mostly women and children have to put in taking water from a, a source, a spring or a river or a creek or or a, a sea, whatever it is, um, and carrying it up the mountainside. So we'll show you on the model here what goes into a solar system. In this case, we have some solar panels, and if you get in the if you if you get in the shadow if you shade the solar panels, they aren't going to work. Okay. Okay. So we need lots of nice sunlight on the solar panels, and the solar panel generates electricity from the sun. It goes through some sort of a connector box. We don't put batteries in because we're not storing. Um, solar energy and then it goes to run a motor and in our case the motor is going to run a pump and it's going to pump water from a source that's fairly close to the solar panel uphill and the pump that we picked will pump water um, at about a gallon and a half a minute up a distance of about 230 feet or 70 meters. Okay, and we're going to have that handout. You'll have Question, that handout. Question, would they, they could store this in a car battery like they usually do. If, there, if there's extra power, we're going to provide a charging outlet that uses a uh, car lighter connector. And you can plug whatever you want to into that as long as it doesn't drain more than five amps. Uh-huh, okay. okay. So the five amps can be used to charge cell phones, can be used to charge laptops, can be used to charge car batteries, Great. up to 15 volts. Great. The, the solar panels themselves produce um, 24 to 36 volts, and that's the voltage that's needed to run the pump. So the controller will have to decide if there's enough voltage to run the pump. If there is, then it does that in preference to charging batteries. So right. batteries get charged separately. Right. Okay? Now, just a question. How sure. do they plug in anything we'll to this? We'll show you. We'll I mean, because there are like, you know, we'll there are... We'll show you. Okay. I said a car lighter um, yeah. oh, okay. uh, connector is what they'll have to use. Okay. That's what we're providing. All we'll right. We'll show you when we get to the controller. Okay. Okay, Great. so All right. the different parts of the system, again, are... Okay, since you're talking about it, I'll film here's, it. Here's the, here's, yeah, here's the, uh, okay. here's the, the solar panel is mounted on some kind of support. Yep. It's not intended to go on a rooftop. Okay. Instead, it sits on a tower, puts okay. it about 10 feet, about uh, three, three and something meters above the ground, because most of the water sources have foliage around them, plants okay. and such. Mm -hmm. The control box it mounts on the tower. Uh-huh. There's, um, has to be some sort of catchment that holds water around the pump. Okay. And we'll look at that first. Okay, let's look at the catchment. Okay. So what this set of sawhorses is pretending to be mm -hmm. is a hole in the ground. Okay, so this okay. is a hole in the ground, folks, right, right. here. Hole in the and ground. First, we want to keep leaves and such from being sucked into the pump. Okay. And that's what this cage is for. And the so cage is, is going to be sent as well. Yeah, it'll be flattened out and yeah. we'll give you instructions on how to put it together with okay. the little wire staples. Okay. So that keeps leaves and such out. All right. And this is the pump itself. Mm -hmm. That's and one it, of the pumps. And it has, well, each system has it has a single pump. Uh -huh. Okay, if we ah, provide right. a separate system, it will have a, a, a separate pump and solar panel and okay. everything. Uh -huh. And so water gets sucked in through this very fine grill. Uh -huh. So that's one of the maintenance items that'll have to be cleaned once in a while. Okay, and I'll be okay. talking to somebody about that. And there's waterproof connectors coming out for wire. Okay. So this wire will then go to our control box. The wire is going to go to the control box. and there okay. They, okay. And then this is the pump output, so mm -hmm. the water has to come out here. Right. It has to be a high pressure hose. This, this green hose is actually not good enough. It swells I up. I see. If it gets hot, it'll break. High pressure hose. So are we going to? We're we supplying have, the, we're high supply the high pressure hose. There's some hose. right over there. Excellent. Okay, and then that will connect 
into PVC pipe. It right. goes all the way up. So there's no pipe in here right now, mm -hmm. but this would be the entrance to the pipe. It goes up 200. It can actually go horizontally, maybe 500 or even 1,000 feet because this is very low flow. So there's very little moss. So are we going sending uphill. the PVC pipe? We are not because okay. that's something they have to buy locally and it's very bulky. 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 So it's okay. but PVC like this we yes. can ship. Well, we aren't going to because they can get it locally. That's what they said. Okay, you, you better believe them because we aren't yeah. going to send it. If oh, they we aren't going to send any of this? We're going to send this little short piece because this is what goes into the yeah. collecting. Oh, yeah, That's what she meant, right? yeah oh, okay. this, this short piece, yeah. yeah, but not the big piece. Not the big long no. one, no. No, okay. no, no. But I thought I meant you were this. using yeah. Okay, so then this fits into a large container, mm -hmm. 300 gallons or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, which it'll, they have it'll, there. It'll pump up to about 400 gallons a day. Wow. So if it fills uh, past the, if it overflows the, uh, uh, the storage tank, mm -hmm. then you want to use that water for irrigation or for washing or something else. It will not go to waste. It will not go to waste. <laughs> okay. The other not part yeah. of, that's, that's down at the catchment uh -huh. is a level switch. Erica thought you didn't finish. Yeah. She says it will pump horizontally 500 to 1,000 feet, but you didn't say vertically, vertically 200. 200 is the most. For each pump. For each pump, right. right. And so I can give you a calculation that shows if you pump a thousand feet, then you lose some of that vertical head. You can probably only pump 150 feet straight up. And that's one of the critical pieces of information mm -hmm. because you need to know how much pipe to buy. Right. Okay. And how far apart to put your pumps. Exactly. Right. So exactly. this is a question. How right. far apart are we going to put the pumps? And okay. what was the other question? Is what's the... Um, is what's the vertical rise. The vertical rise. So that's all in some of the papers that we'll be sending is all those right. questions. How, right. how much rise do you actually have? Right. Okay. okay. And we have it now on now, this tape. You may or may not have mm -hmm. enough water to pump all day mm -hmm. to keep the pump from running dry. It doesn't hurt it from running dry, but if it starts sucking mud or something, that's not good. Right. Um, so there's a level switch and the level switch will turn the pump on if there's plenty of water. See the float goes up Mm -hmm. when there's plenty of water. If there's not enough water, it drops, turns the pump off. Okay. Marion, okay. you want to get closer with the other camera, if you can, please? Yeah. Just to, as a backup. Yep. I want to make sure so we have so this. So here's the pump. pump the float switch is always going to be up above the level there. of the float switch. You want to just put your finger on the float switch again? Okay. So that it's identified. There you go. So here's the float. Goes up when there's plenty of water. Goes okay. down when there's not. Okay. And then there's a wire that connects from here to the controller. Okay. So let's talk about the controller next. All right. Now only one controller is necessary. Is that right? For each system. Or e oh, for each system. Each right. system gets a controller. Okay. okay. So the wire from the um, from the pump comes here in here. Okay. And, 